Kono district in the east of Sierra Leone was famous for its diamonds. But after over 80 years of mining, the district has hardly anything remarkable to show for it, except for the destruction of the land and the poverty of its people. The district's headquarter town, like others around the country, had endured years of bad roads, poor health services, lack of electricity, amongst other challenges. But this sad state of affairs is changing dramatically thanks to the impressive transformation program of the Anist Baikoroma-led government. In this first episode of the Kono story, we will examine how the implementation of the APC government's national development agenda is changing lives and improving businesses in a district that has endured darkness and a litany of other socio-economic challenges. While Sierra Leone's capital had acquired the notoriety of being the darkest city on earth, other parts of the country would only imagine electricity. But just within three months of his coming into governance, President Koroma ensured that the Bumbuna Hydro project, which had lingered on for over three decades, was completed. Improving access to electricity has remained the centerpiece of President Koroma's national priorities, which he has reiterated at the launch of the energy revolution for Sierra Leone. It has been a centerpiece of our development agenda because we recognize that like others, our nation will not develop with inadequate and unreliable access to electricity. Today, in addition to Freetown, several other towns and cities have power, including Koidu City. A 6 megawatt thermal plant produces far more energy than what the city's 128,000 inhabitants require. In fact, 6 megawatt is just about what the whole of Sierra Leone had before 2007. Under my government agenda for change, we increased the national capacity to over 90 megawatts. According to station engineer Mohamed Ba, the Koidu thermal plant can serve the rest of the district's 500,000 inhabitants. This is in addition to the street solar lights that now light up many of the paved streets in the township. Koidu city, once engulfed in darkness, now glows in the abundance of energy, which is helping school kids and stimulating local businesses like internet cafes, electronic shops, restaurants and even nightclubs. 43-year-old Asmika Mansari could not hold back her tears of joy in her appreciation of the government. Thirty-seven-year-old Alhaji Aikalon, a dealer in electronic appliances, says he now spends less on generator bills. Um, for sure, we will be grateful. We tell God thank you. We energy cannot come. Um, we believe say the time we light not been there before. Na kono things will happen. We we they, we it cost me a lot. Kalisu Kalon, manager for SK Fisheries Enterprise, runs a cold room in central Koidu. He explains how much less he now spends on fuel to run his business. Comparing the expenditure, the time we don't get lights, and now we don't get lights, we take and say the expenditure will minimize. For 48-year-old Ai Sharif, aka Ai Cash, and her colleagues who deal in fish, the provision of reliable electricity to the city of Koidu has enhanced their businesses and transformed their lives. Well, this lights where you can, we tell God thank you. They only told you once, we tell God thank you because Friday, the generator will be the use. But now we tell God thank you, they get lights, are happy because right now all things they go normal. The impact is far reaching and cuts across. Benzelin Mukua is a supermarket attendant in downtown Koidu. We thank God now for 
MPA light. We don't come because at first we they use five gallon per day. We cost hundred thousand for a day, but so now we they use thirty thousand per day. Businessman David Sandy, who runs a stationery and computer training school on Kainkodu Road, is also less restrained in acknowledging the government. Indeed, Sierra Leone's development cannot be tied to extractives alone. Diamonds are not forever. Certainly, President Koroma's vision for economic diversification, as espoused in the Agenda for Prosperity, has set the country on the path of growth. Access to affordable, reliable energy is clearly a prerequisite for sustainable development. In our next edition of the Kanor Story, we shall examine how the APC-led government has enhanced healthcare delivery in Kanor District. This is just a part of the Kanor Story. Thank you, thank you.